What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. We got some good news on Big Meech coming home. We got some good news, but hold on. Right before we start this news and cover story today, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and follow me on I Smoke Hip Hop Live Instagram channel. Salute. Now, Big Meech. It's being heard that the BMF superstar, the BMF legendary man himself, Big Meech, is basically he won the Senate reduction. What does that mean? They said he won a three-year reduction. He's coming home more earlier. Now, they didn't go in specifics as far as how earlier, but when you win one of these type of reductions or whatever, it still feels good to see the amount of time gets dwindled down to something lesser and lesser. Now, I'm about to go more in on it. Now, they said Big Meech may have lost some appeals in the past, but he received good news on the situation. And we're, we're going to read this together so we can go look at some of the lights on the situation. Now, they're saying earlier today, U.S. District Judge M. Lawson agreed to reduce Big Meech prison sentence from 360 months to 324 months. The reduction amount to a three-year reduction for Big Meech. I mean, he still got a long way to go, but if you ask any prisoner who's locked up, it's not really about the days, it's about how sooner you're in to get out, meaning that I'm in here already, so it means I'm close enough to coming home, you know what I mean? And it's kind of unfortunate because you would think the way they make these things sound, you guys will come home much sooner the way people keep telling me Big Meech is going to be released. And, I, and I'm one of the guys who actually keep my hopes up for a situation like that. Now, let's break this more further down. Now, all hip hop showed some of the release paperwork. You can find some of it here. They, they clearly gave you a lot of substantial facts in the situation. Shout out to all hip hop. They went in details. Now, I'm about to read this for you guys some more. Now, Demetrius felonary which is big meech they're saying that after he was released basically meech sentenced to a long 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 prison terms uh oh uh oh that that zaza got this nigga in the la la land too early but back to the story meech basically was convicted of running a nationwide continual criminal enterprise this, this is what the authorities are stating now this guy basically had this enterprise and the conspiracy to launder money instruments which racked in over 270 million in drug proceeds from the late 90s until the feds took him down bmf in 2007 i mean we all remember that situation when he was taken down i mean it was on xxl magazine it was on a lot of publications source magazines a lot of people were basically going towards that when that happened you know what i mean it was a frenzy in the hip-hop community for real you had a lot of people giving their opinion on it a lot of people were definitely talking about how people like jeezy didn't help because you used to see meech on every jeezy video during that time i remember fabulous would be there a lot of these guys would have everybody on there you know what i'm saying basically waves so to see the people leaving away from big meech and them that's kind of crazy now we know about his brother who came home a while ago you know what i'm saying the brother is actually quiet southwest is not the way he used to be because according to police records and tapes they heard southwest speaking a whole lot allegedly they said that's what mainly got them through the wiretaps of hearing him but to see jeezy in the situation he's now newfound jeezy it kind of hurts you to see a situation like that but basically in april of 2020 Big Meech, who was sentenced to 30 years, and his brother, Southwest Siri, who received 25 years, filed for compassionate release. So, again, I, I guess they wrote it the wrong way. They're trying to say in 2020, not that they were sentenced to 30 years, but in 2020 of April, they were asking for a file, a, a basic a field, um, filed for compassionate release, citing the risk of the Rona basically posed to their health behind bars and we do know southwest philly was released earlier than so i mean a lot of this is always going to be the he say she say situations in these cases because ain't no telling if legally they pursued 
you know what I'm saying, the BMF guys in, in a legal way, because a lot of times people do it in a legal manner to get people out the way. So sometimes that can help you in your appeal cases, meaning that, you know what I'm saying, they didn't look at these parameters of the court and the situation process. But I mean, I guess it's one of those situations you can either complain or look at the bright uh, side of things. I mean, the months are decreased significantly more, but it's still a lot of years they're trying to give your guy Big Meech. And I feel for the Meech family, I'm not going to cap. It's kind of brazy, you know what I mean? It's a brazy situation. Now, when you get into things, it's still a good outlook on on a situation that was basically seeming endless. Because like I said, every year they said Meech was coming home. Now, we know about Southwest um, basically was released from his 25-year prison sentence to home confinement due to his elevated risk of catching the Rona. You know what I'm saying? So Big Meech tried to use the same argument in vain, but a judge in an appeals court denied his request four separate times. However, today's sentence reduction Big Meech just received had nothing to do with his request for compassionate release. So that's crazy. That that three year sentence that got reduced, they're saying it has nothing to do with the compassionate release. So I want to know what did he do to get it reduced? I guess it's something he meant that they failed against him because here's what it is, you guys. It's basically Big Meech met the criteria for a sentence reduction. I mean, this is a legal law. No, he didn't go talk. He didn't snitch or anything. They actually have an actual law for it. It's called the USSG Amendment, Amendments 782 and 788, which revise basically the drug quantity and chemical quantity tables for all drug offenses. So it's always cool finding loopholes and finding your way to get out of situation to come home early. Look, our trust in the government can sometimes flip but our trust in the most high is always right then and there it's not really going anywhere so i advise people find a higher higher source of power that is to gain you that accessibility of strength or anything you need the fact that this man found loopholes to get out of a situation a lot of us complain and cry about every day. And these paperwork substantiate the fact that no, Big Meech didn't talk. Big Meech didn't tell. He actually rode sky high. Shout out to Big Meech, man. This is great news of him coming home sooner than a lot of people thought. I'm, I'm one of the people who's probably, you know, more elated and happy about it. Much love to Big Meech. It's, it's a win-win. So win win when you look at the whole situations of things, man. Look, Big Meech, without further ado, y'all, I'm your God Bless One. Thanks for watching another great episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed, gang. Look, before we leave and rock out, go to my Instagram, DJ underscore Bless One, and come support and be part of the most winningest wave out here right now. I Smoke Hip Hop Live.